I think when we came here to follow Jersey in the cup final was a really special day and to do it with just two cameras and to you know to be with the team the night before and uh, the day of the game and then you know, speaking to all the people that are coming over to support them and then to produce a fully produced programme to capture the atmosphere and what actually happened that day and take it back to the challenge was exceptional. The Island Games were a real highlight to work at uh, for me and I think everybody else you know, from Channel that worked on them. You know, people from the Channel Islands, for the majority of them, that's as good as it's going to get and that's pretty good anyway, you know, it's a high standard. And to see people achieving so much after so much hard work, you know, it really you know, gives you a lot of satisfaction to cover it and you can see you know, how thrilled they are to, you know, to be in the, in the spotlight, if you like, just for their sort of 15 minutes of fame. And, you know, covering that was so important and you know, letting everybody know back home how well everyone's doing. It's really important to have a good chemistry with a co-presenter, not just the way you look and you know, how you read news together, if you like, but also you know, when you're talking about things that aren't scripted, always trying to make each other's lives as easy as possible. But, there, you know, there's times when you can go away from that and try and stitch them up a bit, yeah. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Shanty Jack playing with the Bones, otherwise known as Knackers. Did you yeah. play with Knackers? <laughs> no. Oh, right, uh, we've got to go and get the weather. Russell Hookie, one of the other reporters, um, was interviewing Four Puffs and a Piano, who were this um, group that played on the Jonathan Ross show, and always wore a t-shirt with the face of somebody who was on his show uh, when they did their routine, and he got them to wear t-shirts with my face uh, on it, and um, I wasn't expecting it, and it seems I was the only person who wasn't, because the cameraman was ready, everybody, the director was ready, to cut to my face, just going, oh, complete nightmare. And then there was the Christmas party in 2003, but we won't go there. <laughs> Seeing as you've stitched me up, are you going to wear them? We'll see what we can do. All right, good. And Russell, I'll get you later. I always enjoy going away on trips, whether it be covering the teams or shooting a feature for a programme or, or whatever it may be. And um, myself and Dan Wickham, who's on camera now, went to Calgary for the first bobsleigh to cover the Jersey bobsleigh team, which was just an amazing experience. You know, going to, the, to Calgary where, you know, there's so many, where Eddie the Eagle you know, competed in 1988 and um, Cool Runnings, the Jamaican bobsleigh team, that was there as well. And you know, seeing guys that are from Jersey get into a bobsleigh or a luge or, or whatever it be and um, you know, going down an Olympic bobsleigh run was just fascinating. <laughs>